Good afternoon. Right now, it's about 3.37 p.m. and today is 3rd of April, 2021. I'm your host, Dr. Seema Jain. I'm a, a PhD in physics from IIT Delhi. I'm SEBI registered research analyst, founder and chief mentor at StockPro, partner with Zerodha, Upstock Spires and Aston Great. So today, you know, I just thought, you know, a, a lot of people, a lot of you, are new who have joined my channel i thought you know i will make you know like uh, the sector analysis for you so that you understand a few weeks back about two three weeks back i said that the sector that looks brightest to me at this point of time is metal sector and it sector and even now i'm adding pharma into it the, these three tech uh, these three uh, sectors are looking very very positive but uh, you know the bounce that came on uh, Thursday with that some new other sectors also look to be now having green shoots so let me just talk about that so I'm your host Dr. Seema Jain and uh, if you want to get in touch with my team in some way regarding some course or anything you know there we are always there to help you out with anything you can reach me on you can join me on my uh, telegram channel on my website facebook twitter whatsapp etc and uh, sector analysis is basically uh, why we really do the sector analysis why is it important right so investors use sector analysis to assess the economic and financial prospects of a sector of the economy investors who use sector anal analysis believe that certain sectors of the economy perform better at different stages of the business cycle and that identifying these sectors can help them find profitable investments so i'm sure you guys have noticed you know if i take you to the trading view here and you come to the you know all the fno stocks right basically fno the highest uh, you know the maximum uh, uh the, the index actually moves you know like a nifty if you see is actually moved by uh, nifty 50 stocks and these are the top fno stocks so see here national aluminium had a beautiful blast jsw steel jindal steel hindalco sale tata steel right and uh all these so you know from here metal sector was actually blasted right there is something, some news, probably you don't know and I don't know, but looking at the stocks, I know that a lot of bullish bets have been placed in uh, metal sector, right? So knowing sectors is very, very important because the sectors are rotated. You know, someday, if you notice, uh, metal is going to be firing up, someday IT will be firing up, someday um, pharma will be firing up, someday bank nifty will be going up or going down depending upon various you know um, factors sometimes we don't even know those factors well in advance we get to know about a few days later so i would like to show you you know what happened uh, see um, nifty or you have a look into the metal sector right have a look at the metal sector and you will see that metal sector actually started moving not today not yesterday long back right see here this is where the accumulation happened right at the bottom right so this is these are the places you can take your entry so this is first place of you know uh, buy zone right this is where the accumulation is happening this was next next place where the accumulation was happening then this is the next place where the accumulation was happening you can you could have taken entry any of this place right you can't trade in metal nifty directly but yeah you could you know at least make out what is happening and you can take an entry right so see here price is shifting slowly in the upward direction you see here if i just remove this box and you notice that price here price here price here let me just draw it for you price here price here price here is shifting in the upward direction right so that was a very very simple uh, you know um, uh, fact that one can see and find out whether uh, you know market is planning what is going to happen in the uh, uh, a particular sector and then you can go down to the stocks that belong to that particular sector so see here this is how it goes right see here 
this was a triangular wedge which was forming and once it was broken it had a good flight up then again it consolidated for some time right a channel was formed here then again a breakout took place see here within this consolidation zone also you could see a lot of uh, activity happening right a lot of understanding you can get from this place itself right so it fell because mass market must be correcting and when it broke it went up then again it's in the channel and then again few days back it broke this channel and look at if you look at you know for so many days this is the biggest and the brightest candle that you see right and this has broken the previous high with big you know with solid volumes right uh, you can see that from the various you can't see it out here because we don't trade in cnx metal or nifty metal but you can look at the stocks and then you will see the volumes are definitely very very high now see this is not a time for us to enter in the metal sector you can do intraday trading but holding positional trades i wouldn't be suggesting so we need to find out a sector which may be heading for an up move so see here this is you know psu bank right so see here this is public sector bank and uh, how the channel has been just broken right and the closest re resistance or closest support you can have a look and above this you have a good entry that you can see here i am finding media pretty good right so one that it has broken the channel the second that you know the consolidation has been over there was one two three three days consolidation on thursday it has broken that consolidation right with a solid candle so that's a pretty positive sign that i would like to assign so see here and see here this is how the channel has been broken and consolidation has been gone over and see here this looks pretty good for a buying opportunity right now you got to find you this is how you get to know which sector is actually uh, about to be rotated right mid cap looks very good right mid cap looks very good small cap looks very good right all these are you know very very good private bank right private bank as of now we got to wait because this double bottom formed and it has to be above you know this barrier that we see energy energy is in the channel right mid cap has broken the channel so mid cap looks pretty good bank nifty looks good to me you know like if i go to the shorter time frame just have a look you know you will find that this is how it is right this is how it is it is you know the for at least uh, from 26th march 26th march 26th march 20 30th march 31st march and 1st april right so four five days it is in a range right and if this is a barrier you know like it's a very psychological barrier 34000 is a barrier if this barrier is broken the next target could be you know uh, three, 300 or 350 points that is what you can expect and if that barrier is closed is broken then the next target is going to be for sure 35,000 right these are all psychological barriers because you know the round figures uh, or I would say um, you know, multiples of 500 you will find a good you know uh, option writing happening at those places and you will find that those behave as strong resistances this is auto right auto has been in a channel right see here from the bottom it has reversed and it looks good if you look at it into the one day time frame right it looks to be broken the channel right so this is how you can uh, pick up stocks which are doing good and you can take an entry in all of them in in few of them so this is how auto has just broken so i'm going to give you some stocks based on my sector analysis so first stock that i'm giving you is tata motor dvr right i have given a buy in this you know if you tata motor dvr so this is how tata motor dvr looks like and our entry is going to be right now it's at about 132 or 133 our entry is going to be at this place right once this zone is took taken out this place from where it has taken 
multiple time resistance that has been broken i'm not worried about these right these are all resistances formed by this zone only so i would like to buy it above 140 right so what will be my destination if i take an entry at uh, 140 so my destination is going to be for this particular stock it's going to be 150 so that's going to be my first target right then i'm going to target like i'm going to go with the round numbers only 160 because this used to be uh i think maybe last year or maybe before last year it used to be a um future stock right so there are good option writers used to be available at these levels so these these have formed you know 160 170 180 have formed strong resistance zones so i have already given on my twitter handle tata motor dvr you can have a look at it uh tata motor dvr i have given a, a few uh, see you can just have a look at here itself so i gave i must have given it on january in january i had given it so this is my twitter handle you can join me here for one of the most i don't know like i give my best result best research over here which you will not even find people do for with with uh, you know the paid see here this is tata motor dvr i have given a buy at 81.5 and now again i am here because i see consolidation happening and i see a lot of um, things that i believe and i see the auto sector becoming positive this is consolidation zone so from here if you take an entry so from 81 it is already up by almost 60 percent it's at one 130 uh it's 50 points up right so which is um some somewhere around um 60 62 percent up and now it's looking for further heading up right it looks good for a target of 150 116 170 and 180 so that's my first stock today right then i am also finding reality pretty good right this is reality i am giving you two stocks and i'll be posting them so so the reason is same right the reason is same there is no difference in the reason as far as uh, see here this is how this channel is right and the channel has been broken now in reality i have two stocks two three stocks i have i'm going to give it to you so the first stock that i have on my radar is hg infra that's the first stock i have on my radar and this looks good to me right this looks good to me but where do we buy we take an entry above 305 right this is where we will take an entry and our target could be first target is definitely going to be 315 and once this is crossed our target is going to be 331 and if 331 is crossed then we can see uh, we can go for a target of 350 right this is going to be our target in hg infra the next stock that i have on my radar is knr construction knr constructions so this also looks very very promising to me right and um, it look it where do we take an entry we take an entry above 220 right we take an entry above 220 our target for sure is going to be 242 and if 242 is taken out uh, like we cross this with volumes then another 20 points can surely be expected right so above 240 i'm expecting 260 280 and holding period could be about one or two months not more than that for sure because the kind of signs that i'm seeing i can may i can believe that it is going to touch 300 soon right so these are the two stocks i'm giving you in infra i've given you one stock in auto which is tata motor dvr and i've given you two stocks in reality or infra you can say see infra is rather better if you have a look at it infra is looking better and these two stocks that i've given you hg infra and kena construction they both look very very strong to me so having a complete understanding of stocks will help you in finding out good stocks so here i would just like to see what are the stocks that exist in nifty media so that i can analyze a good stock for you so dish tv looks very promising you know although i don't like to trade in these down and out and penny stocks but the kind of momentum that has come i can't even ignore it so above 11 rupees you can buy for a target of uh, uh, 11 and a half and 12 
uh, this is uh, 12 means it's almost like a 10 percent movement then uh, if 12 is taken out then 13 can be expected and if 13 is taken out then we can expect 14 and 15 rupees right so this tv looked very very nice to me right network 18 uh, see all of them have bottomed out right they follow the pattern that the sector is following so even navneet education which is part of the nifty media looks sorry also very very promising and zeal also had a good move and if you notice you know the price has shifted slowly in the upward direction right gradually in the upper direction so that was one point about zeal that i felt is very promising see here and uh, the price from this candle to this candle to this candle to this candle slowly is shifting in the upper direction and now our entry is going to come above this place right which is 211 our stop loss is going to be 202 about eight points our target will be 220 to 230 right this is 230 is going to be our final target so eight point stop loss and 20 points target that i have for z right tv today tv today i'm not finding it very good but uh yeah sun tv is something that i would like to take an entry into sun tv looks pretty good but this is where we will buy right uh, above 486 right now at 478 but 486 if 487 if it is crossed then a target of 500 and 510 520 530 can definitely be expected so with this i'm signing off you can follow me on my twitter handle this is my twitter handle and you will find beautiful trades and i'll share i share my own trades and uh, plus you can follow me on the uh, uh, telegram this is where i'm live i'm active i'm giving good trades uh, you'll find some bang on trades over here and so that's it from my side i'm your host dr seema jain and you can get in touch with my team through this these various ways all right all the best guys take care and see you in the next video